morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video. Welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi, guys. Today's video, I have five amazing Bitcoin charts. I have a beautiful trading tip. Yes, travel advice. Of course, talking about some live advice and talking about the news because why was the SEC Twitter being hacked? That's like a very big coincidence on this special day, the 10th of January, that the first approval of a spot Bitcoin ETF should be done or should be approved. And Bitcoin, of course, reacted to that tweet. You could see a peak up, peak down. Uh, we are very volatile. We are around 46K at the moment. Still a very beautiful morning. But let's see what the charts have to say. Let's quickly jump into the first chart. Bam. The first chart for today, guys, is this beautiful four hour chart. On this four hour chart, we can see a sell signal being built. That four hour candle will close in two hours and 20 minutes. And if that candle closes down below the yellow stepping line, there will be an official short for the four hour signal, guys. We can also see that the other signal line, the blue line, has already crossed the white line. The white line starts to curl down. And we can see the green hills declining tremendously. And we can see that red line also on top. I'm talking, of course, about this part of the chart we can see that the green is declining uh, the moment we see yellow appearing or even blue that is of course beautiful uh, confirmation of a short to take guys now to be very clear if we look at the one hour setup there is already a short being done so it all depends which time frame you are using to trade but if you look at the one hour we can see two sell signals a red line that is resistance candles closing down below the stepping line so that would be a beautiful moment to um, take that short on the one hour signal but you also need to exit that short then on the one hour signal guys now let's quickly jump into amazing charts that you really need to see at the moment in this beautiful period of bitcoin the first one is bitcoin and all the traditional assets the return of investment versus dollars now look how beautiful the first column is bitcoin the second is gold and the third is the s p 500 guys now if you look at only one year bitcoin did 160 percent gold did nine percent the s p 500 did 21 percent if you look at two years yes gold bitcoin did only nine percent and gold did 13 percent but that's of course because that was the bear market and bitcoin calculated the s p two percent if you do three years or four years or even five years, then the difference becomes bigger and bigger. Then Bitcoin starts to outperform all those other asset classes more and more and more. The more years you calculate, the more Bitcoin is outperforming all those other assets. Five years, 1000% against 58 or 83. Six years, 200%. Eight years, for example, 10,000% against 80% or 140%. If you look at 11 years, we are talking about 325,000% against 22% or 200%. So yes, Bitcoin is the best performing asset of this last decade. Very important to notice. Then we have this chart, guys. On this chart, you can see the daily DCA cost-based weight average cost. So this means somebody that started to accumulate Bitcoin at the top of the previous bull market. So he bought his first amount of Bitcoin when Bitcoin was around 69,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. And then he kept buying $10 worth of Bitcoin every day. For example, $10. So he would have now been buying Bitcoin for 789 days. At the moment, his profit then would be 70% plus. So if he would have bought Bitcoin every single day since the top of the previous bull market, in total, he would on average have paid 27,300 US dollars for a Bitcoin. The price at the moment is 46, 47K. So he's up with 72%. And he started to buy Bitcoin on the most expensive moment possible. This is showing you the power of dollar cost averaging. This is showing you that if you have the ability to start dollar cost averaging now, when Bitcoin is still very low, you should start to dollar cost average because then in a couple of years, you will have a shitload of profit, way more profit than that 70% that somebody had that started to dollar cost average at the top of the previous bull market, guys. It is simple. Then we have this chart. This is the result of every post-halving run. So the purple line 
That is what happened after the halving of 2012. That greenish line is what happened after the halving of 2016. And that bluish line on the bottom is what happened after the halving of 2020. So the halving is completely at the left side of the chart. And from that moment, what did the lines do? They all went massively up, guys. Between zero and 400 days, all of these lines have been going up since that halving. So that means from the halving in April 2024, we will be going up between 12 months and 18 months. The peak will be somewhere in that period. We are going to see the halving, a new line being created on the left side of the chart in April this year. And from that moment, that line will slowly go up again, just like all the lines went up after the previous halvings. Very simple, but very powerful chart. Then we have this chart, guys. This is a three week chart. Every candle is three weeks. And on this chart, we can see two lines, the blue line and the black line. Now, we can see that these lines crossed each other in 2016. That's a very long time ago. That was an official buy signal. From that moment, we went into a massive bull market. First to 20K, we dropped back to 3K, and we went after that even to 70K. When we drop back in the bear market, we can see that blue line touching that black line again. Now we had a bearish cross. The blue line crossed that black line down, and now about to cross up again. You can see that yellow circle on the right side, three week chart, that blue line is gonna cross that black line again. And that means that's an official buy signal. And the last time we saw such a huge buy signal is in 2016. That's eight years ago. That's a very special signal that happened eight years ago that led to a massive bull run. This signal is appearing on the charts now again. And again, it will lead to a massive bull run. Very simple chart. And then the last chart for today, guys, is Plan B's chart because something very interesting is happening. We can see that more than 90% of the Bitcoins is in profit. And if you look on this chart, when the yellow dots switch into these orange dots, you understand that every time when that happened, from that moment on, it is only up. And we are talking about monthly charts. So every dot is a month. Look there to 2012-13, when yellow started to become orange, then it went into red, bam, massive up. When yellow started to turn orange in 2016, only up. When yellow started to turn orange in 2019, we had a COVID crash, but after that, only up. Now again, yellow is turning orange, guys. Let this be the last warning for you guys to go all in Bitcoin because we are going to go massively up. And yes, I believe we are going to break that 100K dollar per Bitcoin line. There were all the charts for today. We have very big waves today, guys. It's huge waves. Come on, look like, like. It's very big. One, two, three. Bam. I hope you really enjoyed the charts, guys. Yes, of course, uh, short-term volatility. Like I already said to you, 2024 will be a volatile year, but it will be a beautiful bull year for Bitcoin. So you need to zoom out, look at the bigger picture. And the bigger picture is showing us that Bitcoin is going to go into halving. And from that halving, we will see another massive pump all the way up into 2025, where we will see a new uh, beautiful top, guys. And that top will, in my honest opinion, be between 100 and 160,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. And that would be an amazing top, guys. A top that we have never seen before. We have never seen Bitcoin before above 100K. How beautiful could that be, guys? So if you ask me, should I buy Bitcoin now or should I wait for the dip? It's a very simple answer. What is your plan for the future? If you want to double your capital from this moment on, then start to invest in Bitcoin. If you don't want to double your capital, then don't invest in Bitcoin and stay in euros or dollar. That's how simple it is. Let's quickly jump into the trading tip for the day. Today, guys, not a normal trading tip, but a tip on which currency I am buying at the moment. I am buying CX. CX 
is the token that is used by Chart AI. And Chart AI is this project that is now automating technical analysts of charts and way more than only just that guys even they have a twitter bot they have a telegram bot and on a twitter bot for example if you use that one if you see a chart on the twitter and you post down below that chart chart ai bot like at chart ai bot it will give you an automatic update on the ta of that chart guys you can integrate it also into your telegram groups and you can even use it in your chrome browser guys and when you use it in your chrome browser any chart that you see on your screen on trading group you just do an automatic TA on that chart. It's a beautiful AI project. My Hannes opinion will be doing really well in this bull market. So I am adding that token to my list, CX. Check the links down below this video uh, where to buy it, of course. Now let's quickly jump into the next part. The next part is, of course, the travel tip, guys. A lot of people always ask me, Didi, what are the costs of living in Thailand? Is it really that cheap? Yes, it is. It's really that cheap. But nowadays, you can also make it really expensive because you can still eat the local Thai food, but you can also uh, eat, for example, in an Michelin star, a red or even a green Michelin star restaurant. And then it will be a little bit more expensive. But if you live the normal Thai life, it is cheap as fuck. Let's say it like this. If I order food for me and my family in the evening, like we use these apps to order food in Thailand and they bring everything freshly at your door. Now, then for example, we are at five. We all order a main course and like a little bit drink with it and maybe some uh, snacks uh, like dessert or something like mango sticky rice. In total, we will be paying around 1,200 baht, something like that. 1,200 baht, to be very clear, is around $32. So for $32, with the five of us, we had a beautiful dinner. And yes, it is a big portion of dinner. It's like not like small portions, huge portions. So that's around $6 a person. And that is when we order at these more luxury Thai restaurants. If we eat at the local Thai restaurants, it's way cheaper, of course. A local Thai restaurant, you can still eat a portion of Pad Thai, for example, for 60 baht. That's like $1.50. I have even eaten portions, like very simple rice with a little bit of chicken and an egg on top, for like 40 baht. That's like $1. So you can still eat very cheap in Thailand, like you have always been able to eat very cheap. But to be honest, we also visited this beautiful green Michelin star restaurant um, like two or three weeks ago. And then you pay 200 euros for a complete evening of seven courses and all that stuff. Right? So everything is possible in Thailand. But if you want to live cheap, you can still live cheap, guys. And it's not only the food, guys, it's everything. If you go to the cinema, it will cost you two, three dollars. If you take a taxi for a half hour, that's around 300 baht. That's like six, seven dollars for a taxi ride of like half an hour to 45 minutes. Um, housing, yes, of course you can rent a big ass villa. Then you pay a little bit more. Then you pay like two to three thousand dollars per month and you have a big villa. If you want to have like this huge luxury villa in a luxury compound, yeah, you can pay up to ten thousand dollars per month. But if you just live in a normal house, like three bedrooms, not on the beach, like 10, 20 minutes from the beach, you can even live here already for like $500, $600 every month. So everything is possible in Thailand. You just need to adapt to the budget that you have. But if you want to live cheaply, this is one of the countries in the world where you can live as cheapest as possible, in my honest opinion. The food is cheap, the entertainment is cheap, the housing can be cheap, can be cheap. Yes, I said can be cheap. And of course, all the other stuff as well, like a massage, a daily massage. I am paying still between 300 and 400 baht for a massage of one hour. 300 baht, that's like three times $2.80. That's like $8 for a massage of one hour? Where can I get that? That's only in Thailand, guys. So the quality of life for the amount of money that you spend on a daily basis is huge here in Thailand. I've never had so much quality of life ever before for the amount of money that we are spending here in Thailand. So that was the travel tip for the day. Yes, living in Thailand is still pretty cheap and we have big waves now and then. Oh my God. Now let's quickly jump into the next part. 
the next part guys is answering the question of one of the followers and the question was Diddy why would you be spending Bitcoin if you expect Bitcoin to go to 200k or 300k or maybe even 500k now it's a very simple answer for me spending Bitcoin is exactly the same as for you spending fiat but I don't have any alternative we don't have bank accounts already we are living an unbanked life already now for over seven years so for us spending fiat is like not even a possibility anymore for us it is always about spending bitcoin we are still all in bitcoin guys and if you're all in bitcoin there is two options you can exchange your bitcoins into euros dollars or thai baht but then you lose your bitcoins or you can spend your bitcoins directly and then you also lose your bitcoins so in both options we lose bitcoins so why then would i exchange my bitcoins first to fiat currencies and pay those fees if i can spend bitcoin directly in both options i lose bitcoin so we think completely different Bitcoin is our unit of account. Bitcoin is our main capital. Your main currency, your main capital is fiat uh, currencies. It's like euros or dollars. So you are always calculating what is on your bank account and exchanging a little bit into Bitcoin. We are completely the opposite. We are different. We are not the same. <laughs> We only have Bitcoin and that is our unit of account and we will stay all in Bitcoin because that's the only deflationary asset out there in the world. That's the only asset with a limited amount of 21 million Bitcoins, guys. That's why we are living that all in Bitcoin life. That's why we are referred to as the Bitcoin family, guys. It's very simple. So please understand the difference. If I have Bitcoins, I need to spend them directly or I need to exchange them to a local fiat currency, both ways I am losing my Bitcoins. So I prefer to spend Bitcoins directly. And at the same way, sometimes when Bitcoin is really high, that's almost like of the four year cycle, we're going up three years, those three years, we are spending Bitcoin very cheaply because everything becomes a little bit more cheap. And in the bear market, yes, life is a little bit more expensive because we need to spend a little bit more Bitcoins. So we have three years of positive, spendings one year it becomes a little bit more expensive and that's exactly the opposite of the euro and dollar where it becomes more expensive to spend your euros and dollars every year you need more euros and dollars every year to survive in bitcoin totally the opposite three year i spend a little bit less one year i spend a little bit more but on average the longer it takes i'm spending less and less and less bitcoins each four year cycle so for us all in Bitcoin is the only way and that is why we are living this lifestyle, guys. And that is the answer to your question. I hope you really understand the answer. If you do understand the answer, then please leave a comment down below. If you don't understand the answer, then also leave that comment down below. Wow, we have really, like, the waves are really big. It even hit my leg now. My leg is full with water and sand now. So if you don't understand it, then also please leave a comment. Let me know. Why don't you grasp the thing that I'm trying to and educate you about. Now let's quickly jump into the next part while I'll clean my trousers a little bit. The next part guys is the news and the news for today is crazy news. We all know it is the 10th of January. We all know that today there will probably be a spot Bitcoin ETF approval. At least the sex ultimatum is on the 10th of January to approve ARK spots Bitcoin ETF guys. Now the crazy thing for today is that on this day, the SEC Twitter account got hacked. At least that is what they say. The Twitter account tweeted, yes, the spot ETF is approved. And then after that, they deleted the tweet and they're like, nah, this account was hacked. Uh, this was not done by us. So there is only one day in the year, that's the day before the spot ETF approval, that that account could be hacked. To be hacked on that day, that's a very big coincidence, guys. I don't believe they were hacked. I think it was a planned tweet that came out too early. Because also in X, you can plan your tweets. And if you plan your tweet, then they will be planned for a certain time or certain date. And I think that happened and somebody forgot to deactivate that date or put that date on the 9th instead of on the 10th, guys. And I think that is what happened. I don't believe their account was hacked. How much coincidence would it be that their account would be hacked on the 9th while on the 10th the news is coming out? 
that's like very strange guys i really don't believe that that is the issue over here guys i really believe it was probably a wrongly planned tweet and the tweet was now corrected yes my view is becoming more beautiful and i can turn around to give you again of course this beautiful bitcoin booty beach all over the place guys yes bitcoin beach booties beautiful life yes so for me no the sack was not hacked the twitter account i really believe they just put this street on the wrong date Let, let's see let's see if the official tweet comes out if it will be again exactly the same tweet guys if that tweet will be exactly the same then do believe me their account was not hacked it was just a small mistake i truly believe that for 100 percent the bitcoin spot etf will be approved this year guys and probably it will be now the 10th of january and if it is not the 10th of january then it will probably be somewhere in march guys that's my honest opinion about the spot etf but even if we don't get a spot etf the bitcoin price will go up if we do get a spot etf also the bitcoin price will go up guys so that was the news for the day guys let's quickly jump into the next part of the video the next part of the video guys of course is the life lesson and the life lesson today is a very short quote don't count the days but make the days count that is the important life lesson for today often people are counting the days how many days more to my holiday how many days more to christmas how many days more to whatever it is in life that is not the way to live your life because then you're only planning for the future and you're not living the day and it's very important to live in that moment sounds really classical live the moment but it truly is if you're counting the days you're not making those days count and every day should count you should make every day count you should make every day a special day it should be christmas every day for you it should be your birthday every day for you it should be the most beautiful day every day for you and if you can achieve that by doing whatever you want guys some people will make music some people will do yoga some people will walk the beach some people will talk about bitcoin some people will work whatever it is that is making your day make that day count guys it's very simple it's very important in life that you make your days count instead of counting your days because we don't know how many days we have my father could have counted his days they were over when he was 61. my mother could have counted her days they were over when she was 48. i can be counting my days i don't know how many days i have how many minutes i have i only know i have 1440 minutes today and those 1440 minutes i will make them count I will do the things that make me happy during the day. I will do the things that will make my family happy. I will do the things that will make all the people around me happy. And by doing that, I get more happy as well. Because for me, as a person, it's very important that everyone around me is also happy. Because I am already happy. I achieved all my goals. I am traveling the world. I'm living the life that I exactly wanted to live. So for me, full happiness is already there. So now it is very important that all other people around me are also very happy. And that's for every family out there, of course. It's always difficult because you always need to find this balance between all the family members. And some family members might not want to travel. Some might want to travel. Some might not like this kind of music. The other one likes that kind of music. So it's always this balance that you need to find to have the whole family happy. But collectively, you need to make sure that your days count. We are not counting our days. We are not counting, ah, we are going to go to Europe in like 100 days or 200 days because we don't know and we don't care. We don't give a fuck. We just want to focus on the days that we are living here and now in Thailand. And we want to make those days count. And to make those days count, we need to do as much as possible things that will make us happy on that day. So please focus on all those positive things that make you happy during the day then you will make your day count then at the end when you go to bed go to sleep you will be laying there like wow it was again a beautiful day and that is the feeling that you should have at the end of the day it was again an amazing day not ah shit it was terrible oh shit i need to do the same tomorrow again oh shit my life is fucked up that is not the right feeling and that is the only feeling you have when you're counting the days because i mean you're living that life you're counting how many days till the weekend 
oh shit, it is now Wednesday, still three days till the weekend. Oh shit, it is Thursday, still one day till the weekend. That's counting your days. Make that Wednesday count, make that Thursday count, make every day count. So when you go to bed, before you go to sleep, you think it was again an amazing day. It doesn't matter anymore how many days it will take till the weekend or till the next event because every and each day is a beautiful day, guys. Now, that was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I hope you make this video count. So give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What are you doing today to make your day count? Thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing day and see you tomorrow again.